Hello everyone, this is Kenny Brandy from Cambridge Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to learn how to download and install DB Browser for SQLite. Now this is a very simple download process we are going to learn using a Windows machine. So inside of Google or do a Google search of SQLite Browser, please include browser over here. And now this first link I have over here, that's sqlitesbrowser.org. We'll click on this and I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So this is going to be the page you are going to see over there. Now you click on downloads and it takes you to this particular interface. So there are a number of download options over here. So if you want for Windows, here you go for Mac OS or any other system that you have, Linux, that's what you do. So I'm working on a windows machine and i'm using a 64 bit operating system so there are two packages over here we have the zip file and we have the standalone um, installer or the standard installer so i'll prefer the standard installer so i'll click on this and it will download onto my system and that's what you see downloading over it's a very small file about 17 megabytes and once the download is complete we'll do the installation now that we have the download completed we can navigate through our files and go into our downloads and double click on this to open up the installation wizard the terms of the license agreement now click on next and what i need over here is i need an icon for the desktop and also one in the programs menu i don't need what i have over here the sql cipher now what i'll do is i'll click on next and I'll click on next and finally click on install and I'll say yes and the installation will be through so at this point the installation is complete and when I go into my desktop you can see that I have this over here DB browser and also when I am to do a DB browser over here inside of my programs menu I have DB browser over here so I cannot click on this or click on what I have over here either of them and I'm going to have this open up for me. So having gone through the installation and we opening this up, we can create a simple database and see how we work with this. Now I'm not going so much into the whole DB browser for SQLite, but then I just want to show you this because I have a video on Flask where we'll be using this for our database interactivity. So over here, I can click on new database and i would want to navigate onto my desktop and create a new database over here so i'm going to call this school and i'll click on save and inside of this i would want to have a table or i need to have a table so the table i'm going to have is students and you can see that the moment i start typing in we have this sql code being created for us I have the table over here and now I can add in a field. I can click on this for constraints and other stuff. We are not going to go much so deep into this. So the first field I would want to have is the ID and the ID, I can select the things I want over here. So the ID is definitely going to be an integer field. It's going to be the primary key. It is going to be auto increment. Then it is going to be not now. So the ID needs to be there all the time. So I have the ID field and this unique is also important over here. So this is a typical way an ID should look. Now I can also click on add and for the field, I'm going to say name and the name is going to be a text and I'm just going to say not now. And finally, the last field I'll have over here for this simple example is going to be age age is going to be an integer and also not now so that's essentially what we have over here with the table 
we have. So this is a SQL which is going to be executed. So now when I click on OK, we have this showing up over here. Now when I click on this, OK, to select the table, I can click on Browse Data. And that's what I have over here. Now alternatively, I can click on this and do a right click and click on Browse Table. It sends me to the same interface. And now I want to open this up a little bit. So I'll click on this edge and drag it a little bit. Now I would want to have data in here. And the way I can go about this is to click on this. And as you can see, insert a new record um, in the current table. So when I click on this, insert a new record in the current table. Now I can start typing in the record. So the first thing I'm going to say or I'm going to add is Kenneth. And the age is going to be 20. And I would also want to add a new record. The new record is going to be Bruni. And the age, I'll say 25. And I would want to add a new record. And this time around, I'm going to say Frank. And Frank is 20. And last but not the least, I would want to add another record. And this record is going to be Mary. And Mary is 25. Good. So now I have this over here. Now, if I'd want to save this, this is very important. Currently, what I have is not saved. If I want to save this, I would need to click on this write changes. Okay. So write changes to database file. So I'll click on this and now everything has been saved. Now, if I'm to go back and click on my database structure and click on this and browse table, I have this table over here. So this is looking great. Now, one of the things or one of the last things I would want to show is where we have this execute SQL. So I can click on execute SQL and we can execute or we can kind of create any SQL stuff we want over here. So I want to query this database. So I can write in the basic SQL that I know. So select star, which is all from, and I would want to select it from the student's table. So when I do this and now click on this execute all, you can see that I have this. Let me once again, open this up a little bit. I have everything showing up over here. So select all from students and this is basic SQL. So everything is working out over here for us. Now I can add in a where clause so I can say where and it depends on the particular column we would want to kind of apply this where clause. So I can say where for instance age is equal to and if I'm to pass in 20. So you can see that we have two entries where the ages are 20. So we have one for Kenneth and the other one is for Frank. So now when I click on this once again, I see that I only have Frank and Kenneth showing up over here. If I'm to do where age is equal to 25 and run this, we are only going to see Bruni and Mary showing up over here because this where clause applies to these entries over here. If I'm to do where age is equal to 30, we don't seem to get anything over here because clearly we are out of bounds in terms of our clause. All right. So basically, this is not an SQL video. Um, in the future, I'm going to release an SQL video where I teach basic SQL to some advanced concepts. But the purpose or the main import of this video is to show how to download and install DB browser for SQLite. All right. So this is going to be it. And like I said, I'm going to release a Flask video where we are going to interact with our database using DB browser for SQLite 3 or SQLite to interact with our database. So this is going to be the end of this video. Now you find this video very interesting and you've had value out of this. Kindly help me, support me by subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to share this link or this video to anyone who find this content very useful. Also share with families and friends to help promote the Cambrotech brand and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much and bye-bye.